Okay guys, so let's solve 704 on leak code, which is literally just a binary search. So we're given an array of integers, nums, which is sorted in ascending order. Okay, the numbers are going up and there's an integer target and we want to write a function to search for target in the array of numbers. So if that target exists, we want to return its index. Otherwise, we want to return minus one. You must write an algorithm with O of log n runtime complexity and that's what binary search will do for us. To make sure we understand the problem, we're given an array of numbers, say this, and we're given a target value of nine. We want to find nine in this array and locate its index. So zero, one, two, three, four. Okay, we know it's located at four, so that's why that's our output. For this example, the target value of two, we can see that it's not in the array, and therefore we return minus one, saying that it doesn't exist. Also, there's an extra constraint that all the integers in nums are unique, so we have no duplicates. So this is the same example as the first one we have these numbers and we're searching for a target value of nine so you could do this in big o of n time where n is the length of the array in this case it's going to be six we would go through the beginning of the array we'd say is this nine no it's not is this nine we would go through until we find it and we say okay we found it and we would return four in this example otherwise if it was say maybe we had a target of eight well we'd go through we would never find it and we'd return minus one that is a big o of n time and we can do much faster. If you just look through the array, that's not using the fact that the numbers are sorted. They are sorted in ascending order here, and that is going to allow us to get what's gonna be a big O of log and runtime. It's much, much, much faster, and we'll see that in a moment. So our algorithm goes like this, where you have one pointer L that's at the beginning, that's gonna be equal to zero, and we have another pointer R that's going to be five, it's the last number, and we say, okay, well, what's the midpoint? Well, a midpoint calculation is going going to be L plus R over, and it's going to be integer division, we're dealing with integers, L plus R over 2. So L is 0, R is 5, we get 5 divided by 2, well that's going to be 2.5, rounded down, that's going to be 2. Okay, so that's our middle index, so we can write M here. So now that we have this middle index, is this middle value, is that equal to our target? Well, no, it's clearly not. So this value is lower than our target, it's too small. If our middle value is too small, well then we really don't want to look anywhere over here because it's sorted in ascending order. There's no reason we would need to look in this range. We need to start looking in this range. To look in this range, we set L to be m plus one. And therefore we can run this again with our pointers like this. And now we can just look in this range. So now we run it again. We say L is gonna be three plus R, which is five. We do that, which is gonna be eight over two. That'll give you a value straight up of four. And so unsurprisingly, our middle will be the middle here. So we insert our middle index right here. And we say, is this value equal to the target? Well, yes, it is. And since we found the number, we would actually, in this case, we would return the value of the index, which is the middle, which is gonna be return four. So we know this case, if you find the value, you return the index. Well, let's pretend for a second that this wasn't what we were looking for. Let's pretend it was actually a 10. If it was a 10, well, then this value is too high. If it's too high, we want to look in the lower range, but we don't want to start looking way over here again. We've already canceled that out. We are stuck between these bounds. We want to set R to be M minus one to look in this left spot. So over here, we'll set R to be M minus one, and that's going to make R the exact same as L. So here they are the same. And we would run this again. We'd say, okay, well, the middle value is obviously going to be this exact value. It'll be three plus three, which is six. And then over two, that's going to give you the value of three. So this is our middle value as well. On this iteration, we have L, R, and M. All is the same thing of three. Of course, is this the value we're looking for? No, it's not. Okay, it's too low. If it's too low, well, we'll stick doing the same thing. We want to move higher. We want to look in a higher range. We need this to terminate our loop. We are going to do the loop while L is less than or equal to R, because here we did it while they're equal to each other. When L and R were across from each other, this is L is less than R. So we do it while L is less than or equal to R. And so that means here, well, the value was too low. We want to search the right range. When we search the right range, we set L to be M plus one. So we'll set L to be over here. Now that L is here, we say, oh, well, L L is actually bigger than R, okay? L is bigger than R, so this no longer holds. So that's when our loop condition will terminate. 
So here's our code. We'll set left is going to be our left pointer, which is equal to zero, our first index. We'll set right equal to the length of the numbers that we have, minus one. That's going to be our last valid index. And we will say, hey, while the left is less than or equal to the right, we want to do this loop where we get the middle index is equal to right plus left over two. That's their midpoint. If the nums at middle, if that is equal to the target, if we found the value we're looking for, we can return the index, which must be located at middle. Otherwise, nums at middle is either bigger than the target or it's smaller than it. If nums at middle is bigger than the target, we want to set right equal to middle minus one. Why is that? Well, our value is too big. We want to look in the left side. When we want to look in the left, we set our right equal to the middle minus one. Otherwise, it must mean the case that our middle value is too small. If our middle value is too small, we want to look in the right side. And so we set left to equal middle plus one. We do that while left is less than or equal to right. If we ever exit this, that means that we did not find it because left and right did this crisscross thing. And so we can return minus one. If we run our code, we will be greeted with we are awesome. We can submit that and have a great day, guys. I hope that was helpful.